Hey, what's up, guys? It's time to do the 3D Stroke portion of our video. 3D Stroke is a plugin made by Trapcode. They also make Particular and Form. But before we jump in, I'm going to show you something that we need to fix from the last video. Now, if you haven't noticed, there is some transparency in the top right hand corner of the screen. So, to fix that, we just check Repeat Edge Pixels in the Lens Blur settings. Okay, so now we're going to work on our 3D Stroke. So, we're just going to take off our Lens Blur quickly. And we're going to go Layer New, Solid. Make Comp Size. We'll name this 3D Stroke. We'll put it right above the raw or interior, and then we'll turn back on our main facade and sky. And uh, now we apply 3D Stroke to our solid. So now we're just going to grab our pen tool and create a mask over our 3D Stroke just to create the lines. And we'll go into our transform. And we'll bend it a little bit. And then we're going to rotate it to where it looks like it's coming out of the building. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to play with my mask a little bit, get arranged in a way I like. Okay. So we have our 3D stroke. And now we're going to create a new adjustment layer. And then we'll apply a lens blur to it. We'll set the depth map layer to the pre comp again. We'll invert the depth, raise the radius. And now this 3D stroke is being blurred as if it was a part of the interior. So what we do is we copy our 3D stroke and then we go into our depth precomp and then we just paste it in there. And that's control C, control V to copy and paste. Let's turn everything other than the 3D stroke in here off. And we know that as it's coming this way, it's coming out of the building, so we'll just apply a gradient over it. Or a ramp. And we know that we want it to be black to the left and then white to the right because that's the direction it's coming from. So we turn everything back on, go back to our main composition. And if we pull up our depth map, oh shenane, I did something wrong. So let's go back into our depth precomp and we'll move the 3D stroke underneath the facade. That's looking more like it. And our 3D stroke is looking kind of bland, so let's do an effect on it. So we're going to feather our 3D stroke. And now we're going to apply a colorama effect to our 3D stroke. And we'll go to input phase and we'll say get phase from alpha. And then we're going to go into our output cycle. And we're going to move some of the colors by just clicking on them and dragging them away from the circle. Leave the top color and the top left color. Now I'm going to change that red to a blue just by double clicking on the triangle and selecting blue. And we're going to select the last color, drag it closer to the right side, and we'll make it transparent. And then I'll just click in between the two and add another color. Now we're going to go back to our input phase and we're going to change the phase shift to where the very outer edge of the stroke is transparent. And let's turn off our lens blur to see this better. And uh, we're just going to look and we're going to make sure it's fading to transparency at the very edges. So right there. Let's turn back on our lens blur. And we'll do a little fast blur just because it looks kind of rough right now. Okay, and then we can animate our 3D stroke in and out. So we're going to move to the beginning of our comp and we're going to set the end value to zero. Click on our stopwatch. And then we'll move towards the middle of the comp and we'll just raise that end value to 100. Now we didn't mask out that man earlier, so we might as well make the best of it. So let's have that 3D stroke go behind the man. So let's go back into our 3D stroke and we'll move it up a little bit so it's going behind the man's legs. Then we'll rotate it down a little bit. The only problem is now since we move the stroke we're going to have to redo its part for the depth map because the depth map precomp still has that old version of the 3D stroke in there. 
So we're just going to have to copy our new 3D stroke that we've moved, go into our depth precomp, delete the old 3D stroke, paste the new one in, and then move it underneath the facade. So let's remove that colorama, and then we'll add a ramp or a gradient to it to give it some depth. And we need to move our points to where the right tip is white, and then the back is black. So now if we go look at our final frame, we have this. It's a nice little trick to do. And you can tell that I didn't mask out my man very well. So let me just add a point or two. Okay, so now we have this. Okay, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, try not to rip it off too bad. Try to, you know, make a spin off of it and make your own cool effects. Remember, if you've seen this tutorial, most likely other people have as well. So if you copy the effect exactly, no one's really going to be impressed. They're just going to say, oh, you followed the tutorial. But if you use the techniques I taught you, I'm sure you can come up with something very interesting. Thank you, and goodbye.